Dried blood spots are blood samples collected directly onto a specially manufactured absorbent filter paper. The blood is collected from a finger prick and then left to dry. This video explains how to collect your blood spot and how to dry the sample correctly. Do not carry out this sample collection if you are pregnant, have ever had a fit or epilepsy, or are taking blood thinners. Before collecting the blood sample, please read the information sheet and consent forms. If you are willing to provide a sample, please sign and date the consent form. Wash your hands in warm, soapy water. This will help to stimulate blood flow and make the sample easier to collect. Dry your hands thoroughly with a clean towel. Choose a finger from which to collect the blood sample. You should use a finger from your non-dominant hand. It is easier to collect the sample from the middle and ring fingers. Remove any rings on the finger you have chosen as they may restrict the blood flow. Use the alcohol wipe provided to clean the selected finger. Allow the alcohol to dry completely before taking the sample. It is best to collect the blood sample when you are sitting down. Open the packet of moist wipes provided. Take one of the lancets provided. Make sure that the sterility cap is on the lancet. This ensures that the lancet is sterile for you to use. Do not use the lancet if the sterility cap has come off. Twist and remove the sterility cap to break the seal. The lancet is now ready to use. Place the blood spot card within easy reach and open the upper flap to reveal the five dotted circles. Do not touch the dotted circles on the card. To collect the blood sample, position the lancet against your finger. You should place the lancet on the top side of your finger, not in the middle of the finger pad. Press the lancet firmly against your finger until you hear the device click. If you don't press hard enough or want another attempt, repeat this step with a new lancet. Remove the lancet from your finger. A small drop of blood will form on the puncture site. Using the moist wipe, blot away the first drop of blood. Point your hand down and gently massage the punctured finger from the base of the finger. A new drop of blood will form. Do not squeeze the end of your finger. Allow the blood drop to drop onto the first circle on the blood spot collection card. The blood spot should fill the circle. Once you have filled one circle, move to the next circle with the next drop of blood. Do not touch your finger to the card or rub the blood on the paper. Each drop of blood should go in its own circle. Do not top up a circle with more blood if the first drop does not fill it. Don't worry if you miss the circle and the blood drop falls outside the dotted line. Just ensure that blood spots don't overlap. Fill all the circles on the blood spot collecting card. Then, clean your finger using the gauze pad provided. Cover the puncture with the plaster provided. Dispose of the lancet in the sharps tube provided. Leave your blood spot card open by propping up the card using the upper flap. The card needs to dry in the air for at least four hours, but no more than 24 hours. Make sure the blood spot card is not placed near an open window or somewhere it could easily be knocked over. Do not expose the blood spot card to direct sunlight or place the card close to a radiator or in an airing cupboard. When the blood spots are dry, they will turn a uniform brown colour with no red areas. When the blood spot card is completely dry, fold down the cover as shown on the card. Place the card along with the desiccant packs in the plastic bag provided and make sure the bag is well sealed. Put the bag in the pre-addressed and prepaid envelope provided and post it to our laboratory, along with your consent form.